Okay, so in this video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to create activity diagram in VCO. So this activity diagram I'm going to create is uh, connected to the same patient glass system case, um, the example I used to demonstrate use case diagram. So it will look like this. Okay, so start from the beginning. Let's create a new um, diagram by double click on UML monogram diagram and um, select the activity. And so, uh, first of all, we're going to need to have a start initial state. Again, let's zoom in a little bit more. And then there's a uh, transition, it's uh, the fork. So by the fork, it's very short, let's drag it, make it longer. That'll be the start of all the activities. And then we also, when everything finished, uh, in case I forget later, I'm gonna need a join notes. So again, drag it to make it longer. Kind of want to align it with the beginning that fork note and then finally we have a final state note underneath the join transition so um, now remember that the action in here in the activity diagram correlates with the case use case in the use case diagram so when you join your activity diagram you want to have your use case um, by your side so make sure everything uh, every use case is covered so let's include a action state so you can double click and enter sort of the same as the case use case description and that will be the actions again we can with that action object highlight uh, selected we can increase the font a little bit okay um, and then we have alternate response now instead of double click into it to change the text you can also add it if I click into it, so alternate response, and you can have uh, a doctor doctor issues prescription. Now, in the activity diagram, we don't have uh, the actor. Uh, and use case kind of communication now. So uh, in lots of the um, actions that we need to specify, uh, if it's not obvious, we need to specify who uh, initiate this action. So patient goes to the doctor, doctor issues prescription. So those uh, adding who does what helps Clarify. So let me put in all 10 points. And clearly, here we have to deal with a decision. The patients go to the doctor, and then decisions made like whether the patients need a new prescription or alternate response. No, you don't need one. Just use the current glasses and so on. So here's the decision note. And uh, then we're going to need to have a control flow. So the first control flow I will add to is between the initial node to this fork node. And then another one I can add to on the fork out. Now in a complicated system, you may have uh, multiple activity concurrently going on. You may uh, use swim lane over here 
to separate all this, and so your fork node will truly become a fork one because it will be many uh, swim lanes out from it and many concurrent activity going on. So now in this case, it's a very simple example we're using, and we just have one um, series of actions and from the patient goes to the doctor, come to this decision note, and depends on can also use the up and down on, uh, button on your keyboard to justify to adjust the uh, position of a object on the canvas. So um, then I want to add control flow one out from this decision node and to here. So now you can see that this line is not so pretty, like uh, it's tilted a little bit. So what about I change that into right angles, so right click and select right angle connector. You can also use if you wanted to look like a little bit artistic curved connector, you know, and then you can move this to change the shape of it. Okay. So here I will just use um, the right note. Again, right click and set it to be right connector. You also can see that currently I'm on the pointer tool. If you use a connector tool, it'll be more like you can customize your con connector. Okay, so um, a few more. So one more uh, control flow that will be from the alternate response. If I get this response, I can just directly come to the swim lane again, which is going to do the right angle connector. I can drag this to be like, look a little bit better. And then you have uh, many more actions such as patient goes to store and then after that if it's obvious that it's patient's action so I can omit the patient word and just go ahead and select frame and place order etc etc and I can put in more of the control flow and so on okay. because of the time um, constraints so I'm not going to demonstrate all uh, not repeating the steps so the final uh, activity diagram should look something like this of course you can adjust it looking make it look a little bit better visually, but you get the essence of creating the um, diagram, activity diagram in a um, VCO.